What's up, everybody? Welcome to Normieville. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. You know, I thought I was done talking about the U.S. women's soccer team. Uh, I think we ain't done yet. You, but you personally, I think we ain't done yet. Well, it seems as if we have one more story to close out the U.S. women's soccer team for this season. Now, at nauseum, we've talked about Megan Rapinoe's tribute video. We talked about her horrible penalty kick to close out the U.S. women's soccer team and their loss. We also talked about some of the causes that she has rallied around, like the T community and things like that and sports and all of that. We've also talked about... Uh, how she is uh, went to retirement after the uh, World Cup. And so all of that, right? The loss of the, the World Cup and how everybody says she was such a good person and what's her greatest moment was uh, gender pay and all that. I'm sorry, unequal pay and whatnot in soccer and all that kind of stuff in sports. Well, there is one more uh, nail in the coffin, if you will. And uh, that is that there head coach has stepped down as you can see here from yahoo sports and i'm gonna push this name so forgive me ahead of time but latko andonovsky uh, i guess steps down as u.s women's national team head coach so they have lost their star in making rapina which they have some other stars so i think they'll be okay but now after their embarrassing loss in the world cup their coach has stepped down let's read and see if we get some history on this coach and, well, who his successor might be. Not that you care, but let's read. Latko Andonovsky has stepped down as head coach of the U.S. Women's National Team. The U.S. Soccer Federation announced Thursday, Avnowski and U.S. Soccer agreed to part ways less than two weeks after a round, I'm sorry, after a round of 16 loss to Sweden. Ain't no way. Yeah, Ain't man. No fucking way. Condemned his team to the worst World Cup result program. Wait a minute. Round 16 lost to Sweden. Condemned his team to the worst World Cup result in program history. Jeez. Wow. Wow. That's something right there. That's a that's a, a pretty big accomplishment, huh? With a post-World Cup review going, U.S. Soccer Sporting Director Matt Crocker tabbed assistant coach Twila Kilgore to lead the U.S. women's national team on an interim basis. Kilgore will take charge of two September friendlies against South Africa and perhaps two games in October as well. Crocker, meanwhile, will lead the search for a new permanent coach with the Paris Olympics less than 12 months away. Avnowski succeeded Jill Ellis in the fall of 2019 and took over a team fresh off back-to-back -back World Cup titles. So they went from back-to-back -back World Cup titles to losing the World Cup pretty much every other year since uh, since he started head coaching. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Hmm. That's uh, amazing. Over the subsequent four years, he became the first U.S. women's national team coach to enter multiple major tournaments and win none of them wow that is another that is another major uh, accomplishment or failure depending on which way you look at it or you know what your thought process is uh, Megan Rapinoe will probably say that's uh, progress <laughs> in many ways initially he picked up the right picked it right where Ellis left off implementing new ideas but riding with veteran players. Some of those players endorsed him during the coaching search and gushed about his early influence on the team. They rolled through his first year and a half on the job, winning uninterrupted. But warning signs appeared in the spring of 2021 and intensified at Tokyo Olympics that summer. A 3-0 loss to Sweden in the Olympic opener was startling. And in retrospect, Avnowski's U.S. women's soccer team never really recovered. Target acquired. Hmm. 
So essentially, this person right here, this individual, took over a winning soccer team and pretty much failed every year he was there, to include this year failing in the World Cup. Now, this wasn't all his fault because uh, Megan Rapino had some injuries and things of that nature. They put her in to do this kick, which in hindsight, they probably should just put somebody else in there. Why they put her in at the end when she hadn't played, literally hadn't played most of the game, and they put her in the end to make the most important kick of the goddamn game. Hold on. The most important kick of the game. They put her in there to make the most important kick of the game. She hadn't been there all game, and then wonder why she messed it up. Wonder why. I mean... It doesn't make any sense to me. We wouldn't do that in football. We wouldn't do that in basketball. If he's not hot, if he hasn't been playing all game, if he hasn't been on a roll, at least at some point during the, the, the scrimmage, the skirmish, why don't we put him in there at the end and it's a 50-50 chance he's going to fail? Actually, more than that. Him or her. But we're talking about women's soccer here. The U.S. women's soccer team, by the way. The runaway pre-tournament favorites settled for bronze in Tokyo. Avnowski then attempted to engineer an overdue changing of the guard. But as he was welcomed young stars like Sophia Smith and helped invigorate others like Mallory Swanson, he never quite meddled them into a humming unit. They lost three consecutive games last fall for the first time in, oh man, three decades. Wow, man, this man was taking L's everywhere. God damn, he was taking L's everywhere. They lost three consecutive games in the fall for the first time in three decades. Even in wins, they underwhelmed and often looked tactically deficient. Woo, that's some strong words. Injuries and developmental defects were confounding factors, but Evnowski entered the 2023 World Cup as a central concern to many committed fans. He later said that he never felt like he was coaching to save his job. That's a lie. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> But the assumption was that he'd lose if he fell short of the World Cup final. Well, over the past few weeks, he fell way short. Indeed, he did. This man has been, you know, I haven't really kept up with the women's soccer team outside of Megan Rapino and uh, some of the, the more important losses they had. But now that I'm reading this, this man... The, the, the U.S. women's national soccer team hasn't been good in the last four years since he took over. Again, it's not all his fault, but you're the head coach. The buck stops with you most of the time, right? You have four years to put this together, and you've essentially failed at in the tournaments, in the in the in the the final, in pretty much every game. You you've taken L's. I'm pretty sure I did a video on this like last year on another channel where. This is crazy, but let me finish up here. No U.S. team has had ever finished worse than third at the Women's World Cup. His finished around 11th. No U.S. team has ever scored fewer than 12 goals at a Women's World Cup. His bag only four. Evnowski is, by all accounts, a good man. I mean, we all could be. Whom players spoke highly of. He centered, around, he centered those players at his post-match news conference last Sunday with the remnants of emotion standing in his face. Well, I mean, we all can be good men, but I mean, in sports, we all we only respect wins, right? So everything else is a failure. And by all accounts, this man is a complete failure. So again, well, now that you all have seen the pinnacle of failure in their coach coming down from Mega Rapino and everybody else, you see why this team's destined to fail. We'll see who they put in place after uh, Avnowski here. Hopefully, they will be able to uh, pick themselves back up next season with a new coach. Megan Rapinoe's gone, so maybe they can, again, maybe they can focus on soccer now instead of what Megan Rapinoe is talking about and what cause she's trying to get behind, stuff like that. The, how much, the least how much money they're making when they got endorsements out the yin yang. So, Maybe next year they'll actually be able to, to win something. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will. So we'll see. But of course, the work, the I'm sorry, the normie like myself will be here to report it if anything changes. And if they t keep taking L's, I will gladly report that as well. So thank you for taking another episode of Normieville. 
You know me. I'm Justin Normie here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this loser down in the comment section. And please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.